Do you ever get a sense of something bigger than just you and me? The presence of divinity, a deity, someone sovereign over everything? Sometimes I feel like it when I'm looking at the sea or staring out the window of a plane looking down at a mountain peak. First of all, the fact that humanity has built something mechanically that means I can look down at the mountain peak? That's crazy. But imagine standing at the peak, knees weak, unable to speak. The grandeur of creation reminds a man of his station, like being close to a roaring lion, frightened, but simultaneously excited. So, about that divinity, if there is something, someone, someone more, what is it, what, what are, are they, they for? And why would it, it they, they, he, bother with us, what's more? Left to our own devices, humans, we're not the nicest. Always in and out of crisis, all it takes is this, that, or any other thing to entice us. Money, sex, qualifications, food, likes, low prices are king. You see, a king's not so bad if he's the right one. The thing is, we make a monarch about anything and anyone. People get their all-chasing experiences, worshipping with body and budget to make their knees weak. It's something that feels spiritual. It feels like divinity, yet rejecting deity, any holy authority. But we worship like it's something we were made to do, to make much of something, someone, bigger than you and me, someone worthy. A king makes sense. God makes sense, put them together and give Him frankincense, a gift for holiness for this heady divinity. Older than mountains and vast, more vast and more depth than the sea. Wholly different to you and me. Holy. Holy. To understand it is too much for me. By proximity, both infinite and intimate temporally eternal and indefinite yet fully present searching within our human limitation it might bring temporary satisfaction but any peace that we find in meaning will be but an echo of him and the life that he has given evidenced by our hearts beating search without and we're left without a better solution the chaos of life clear evidence of sin without him lies of the world as evident as the vapors we breathe in. And yet, there are snapshots of His beauty in the cyclical change of season, and it's worth investigation how this world endures such constant transformation. Maybe the same goes for our souls. Not reincarnation, but salvation. From the sombre sacraments of a sinful life to the epiphany of overwhelming majesty, a holy God who made us His own, wholly separate from Him, but made whole and holy through union with a triune God, Father, Spirit, Son, three in one, holy. holy, heady divinity enough to make your knees go weak, that this God with frankincense filling His heavenly home, tendrils of incense hovering around His throne was born as a baby so that He could live and die and make us his own.